Okay, today I'm going to share something with you guys. Um, it's another Linux distribution. Um, so far, it's been the most impressive one um, that I've come to use, or just come to start to use. It's called Partis 2011. Um, let's see here. I'm running this in VMware Workstation. Um, 64 bit. Uh, and so far, a couple of nice things that I do have to say about it. It installed really fast and really easily. Um, the installation process was really polished. I'll say that. Um, and when I what I say polished, I, what I what I'm trying to say is, um, I didn't have to uh, go through a uh, a text only install. You know, it, it wasn't complicated. Um, there was there was kind of like a guide kind of like similar to what you would see in OS 10 to where it asks your username your preferences keyboard preferences um, stuff like that um, and it was just very very slick looking anyone who would like to try this um, the the actual ISO image is pretty large um, you can try the live version um, I believe it only comes with KDE so if you're a GNOME user, I do apologize, but um, like I said, here I am running it in a 64-bit environment. I did install VMware tools, and uh, I guess I could put a little bit more uh, RAM on the virtual machine itself because it does run a little bit laggy on my uh, machine. Um, I'm not gonna go through here all the list of uh, software like people usually do because that's that's kind of stupid in my opinion I mean if you want to download and install and try it and look through all the software that's fine that's up to you but it is a larger ISO because it does come with um, a lot of the default KDE applications plus some of their own um, like I said this is the most polished um, install process I've ever seen in a Linux distribution ever um, not only that but every time I run a KDE environment on any distro through a virtual machine it is buggy as all hell and other than the slowness I haven't had anything crash or uh, I haven't had to kill any applications or anything like that um, I did go ahead and install um, the VMware tools and that installed flawlessly I didn't have any problems whatsoever as you can see down here um, I even have access to my printer through the virtual machine which is something I didn't really have to sh uh, set up I don't know if uh, that's something that VMware takes care of or it's just the the uh, installation of uh, this review was based off of Gentoo Linux I don't know if they're still using the same package format now okay I'm very sorry um for some reason I couldn't get the package uh, manager to open um, probably due to the uh, limited amount of resources that, I'm, that I've allotted to the virtual machine um, I can make that adjustment later it's not a big deal but I did uh, go ahead and do a quick Google search here and it says that it uses the I don't want to mispronounce this PC package management um, which it uses to handle libraries and uh, packages um, if I do get it to work I will make another video showing that um, just briefly real briefly nothing in detail um, but I, like I said again I do recommend this operating system um, for any uh, Linux users that want to stay away from Ubuntu Unity which I know myself is kind of being a real pain in the ass to kind of deal with it's still extremely buggy I haven't seen any real definitive or beneficial changes coming from that environment yet real quickly here as you can see I was able to finally get uh, the pissy manager or <laughs> I apologize that's a PSI PISI uh, manager um, and as you can see here very simple um, with a very good description here and rating of the packages installable packages installed packages and updates um, this environment I consider just as easily 
to to navigate as the uh, Ubuntu Software Center. We even have a search bar here. So let's say if I wanted to search. Wow, that that's impressive there. See, so it pulls up things before I even get to it. So I say like record my desktop. Let's see how fast it's able to find the package. Give it a few seconds. We're still searching. And it did go ahead and find the application. Um, it did take a little bit longer than I expected it to. Uh, that is unfortunate. Um, but like I said, I will make some adjustments to the actual virtual machine itself and see if we can't get this to run a little bit more smoothly. Um, thanks for watching. I'll hope to catch you guys next video.